Let's use an example to illustrate this enthalpy change of reaction. So we have this question, calculate the enthalpy change, uh, change in H, when CH4, methane, is burned completely in oxygen. Given the equation for this reaction is CH4 plus 2 units of O2 to give us CO2 plus 2 units of H2O. So the first thing is to have, we have to redraw this uh, equation into its structural form. What do I mean? CH4 we cannot write like this, we have to write it like this. Okay, we have to show all the bonds because we know we then know which bonds to break, which bonds to form. Okay, so CH4 is written as such. Uh, O2, okay, there are two units of it. So we have to draw two O's. Two O2s, I mean. Okay, so OO and OO because there are two units of it. Uh, to give us the products of uh, one unit of CO2 is drawn as such. Okay, COO, okay. And two units of H2O, which is drawn as such, okay. Uh, H2O and H2O, two units of it. So now we refer to our table that's been given, okay. This table has to be given, okay. You will not be um, required to memorize any of the values here, okay, because it's too tedious to remember everything. So let's look at the first one, CH bonds, okay. It's 410. So maybe I just use um, the yellow color to denote them. This is yellow, right? So... These are all CH bonds. Okay, you can see there are four bonds of it. Okay, whereas for OO bond, okay, let's use blue. It's double bond here. So I just overwrite this uh, with blue. So it's double bond here. So what do I mean by this? Every time I break a OO double bond, it requires 496 kJ of mole. So I break this is 496. I break this is another 496. Okay, I'll take that into account later. Uh, whereas for C double bond O, okay, it's... To break one C double bond O bond, double bond, it's 740 kJ per mole required. So this is 740. This is another 740. Okay, so take note there are two bonds to be broken, uh, to form here. Okay, because, sorry, this is reactants, is bond breaking. Am I right? I have to break all these bonds. Okay, all these bonds will be break. Whereas on the other side, this is bonds forming because it's products. So I have to form form. Okay. And this one, maybe I can use green. Okay, OH bonds are also being formed. Okay, so OH bonds are being formed. And I have to calculate all this as well. Okay, so the first step really is to translate the chemical equation into this structural equation to show you where all the bonds are because that's very important. So now we can finally do the calculation. First one we want to write, okay, bonds broken, okay, which is talking about the uh, reactants, bonds broken. It's we have four CH bonds, okay, in CH4. Okay, this is to be as detailed as possible. This one, okay, in CH4. And this one, it uh, sums up to four times 410 kJ per mole. Okay, makes sense so far, right? Because um, to break all the bonds here, there are four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that's why I take 4 times 410. Okay, because each CH bond is 410 worth of energy. And there are 4 of them, so I times 4. Okay, not just this. I have to break this as well. So there are, how many? There are 2. Okay, 2 O O double bonds. Okay, in oxygen, O2. Okay, so this one sums up to be 2 times, okay, uh, 496, am I right? 496 kJ per mole. Alright, so we are done with the reactants, which are bond breaking. Now let's talk about the bond formation, which are the products. Okay, so bond form are, okay, we can see that we have to form two bonds of C double bond O. One here and one here. And one of them requires 740 kJ per mole to form. So we need two of them. Okay, two uh, C double bond O bond in CO2, carbon dioxide. Okay, this requires us two times 740 kilojoule per mole. Okay, finally, uh, to form this as well, I need four OH bonds. You can see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have four OH bond in water h2o and this one requires four times because one OH bond is 
worth 460 uh, kj per mole to form so i need four of them okay so to recap to break four bonds here i times four to break two bonds here i times two to break two bond to form two bonds here i times two to form four bonds here i times four okay that's where all the numbers come from how many numbers of bonds required to bond to break or form okay and now we can finally use the formula okay using formula okay change in h is energy of bonds for bonds broken minus energy of bonds formed okay and i know energies of bonds broken are these two right so i use a square bracket for 410 plus 2 496 close bracket close second bracket minus away energy of what's being formed here which are these two so 2 times 740 plus 4 times 460 okay and using calculator okay you don't have to write out the value for each okay it's just too tedious that's mathematics okay we just in chemistry we can just use calculator but we have to show this intermediate step okay we should this value will give us a grand total of negative 6 8 8 kj per mole okay, maybe i can write it nicer okay this one means that can you notice there's a negative sign here means that this is a exothermic reaction which means heat is being given off okay we'll talk about uh, more about exothermic and endothermic reaction in the next video okay but let me just do a quick recap on this basically when they give us this chemical equation we write it into uh, this structural form and then we count okay the bonds involved and their relative uh numbers the relative energy uh required to bond or to form or break them so one problem you may encounter is how do i actually know that ch4 looks like this okay maybe that's quite easy but what, how do i know that o o2 is a double bond instead of a triple bond or even a single bond and how do i know that co2 is double bonds okay and whereas for oh is a single bond so how do i know all this one tip i have for you okay other than memorizing them okay uh is that look at the table that's been given they will not give you anything that's extra what do i mean they will not give you something that is uh for example o o bond okay because that's not being used here they will not give it to you so whatever that's being given here has to be what's you will what is being uh what you will use later so there's a hint that o o okay it's a double bond whereas c o is a double bond okay it's all based on this table so this table serves as a serve as a very good hint to tell you what how you should draw your molecules okay that's uh, my tip for you okay and with that let's move on to exothermic and endothermic reactions